getting some beautiful time-lapse photography of the CBD? Sort of thing, yes. But uh, we're, we're just a little bit busy live streaming. Live um, streaming what? Uh, live streaming the event. But look, I'm not really what interested event? in engaging. So uh, what event if you could you just leave, it, leave us to it. What are you live streaming? As I said, we're not really interested in engaging. If oh. you could uh, leave us oh, alone. Oh, but is observation not engaging? You've obviously got so many interesting things to do with your Saturday, eh? I hope you're having fun. Do you have a... No, you don't have a wife or kids, eh? You must have a really fun life. You look like you're having fun. I'm glad you're smiling. So, as I say, uh, we're just here to film. We're not really interested in conducting any conversations. Oh, really? Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm quite interested in, in understanding uh, why your life is like this, to be honest. Like, I'm worried about you. Have you got friends? Do they care about you? friends that care about you that let you spend a lovely Saturday doing this your shades are really cool by the way I like your shades I think that they are serving opulence you too honestly with the gimp, honestly with the gimp mask like that's a strong look that's such a strong look for being out in public I just, like, I think that what you're doing here is really creative. Uh, I think it's in the spirit of pride um, to be doing this sort of performance art. Um, yeah, and, like, I think that, like, you should be proud of yourselves. I hope you are. Like, I hope that you've got any sense of dignity whatsoever um, doing this with a beautiful Saturday. You must have really nice lives. You must have people that care about you. It's like you can't even do the thing you're trying to do properly because you're pointing the cameras at me instead of at all the people you're intending to surveil. Surveil? Yes, surveil. Yeah, it's really pathetic. Like, you're not succeeding. And like, even if you were, who even cares, right? You're scared. Look at you. You're fucking shaking. Oh my god. What a fucking wimp. You scared of me. Look at you. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad you're having fun. People gotta have hobbies, eh? Especially people who, like, are too brain dead to have any creativity, um, any, any interest in, like, actually creating anything with their lives. Like, you gotta find something to occupy your time. Evidently, the best thing that you know how to do with your time is just stand around random places live streaming. It's so smart. You're so smart. You're a genius. You're so fucking smart. You're even facing the wrong way. That's how smart you are. Oh. Poetry. Visual poetry. What's your favorite color? You don't have a favorite color? Wow, what a fucking bland life you must have. Do you have a favorite food? Have you read a book? Do you have a favorite book? Because that would explain your interest in this event, because you must be such a fan of queer literature. 
You're a lover of queer literature? That's so impressive, honestly, that you care enough to document um, part of New Zealand's queer literature community. You're a real asset to the queer community. You look so comfortable. You look so at ease with the world. <laughs> oh, look at you, facing the right way again. There you go. I feel like you could probably do with some cinematography lessons, eh? interested in engaging, like you can't find anyone who would want to spend their life with you. It's like genuinely like, I feel bad for you dude. Although then again this is Pride, so you two are doing like gay performance art right now. I'm sure that you two love to get it on in the back of the car, you know? Oh, look at that smile! Yeah, that's the smile of a man who loves guzzling another man's car. Yeah! Yeah! Your face! Oh! Yes! Yes! You, you are revealing so much about yourself with your silence. Is that, is that, is it on your teeth? I think I can see it there, or like stains of cum, so you must eat a lot of cum to get your teeth stained like that. And then not brushing your teeth after, like, I might be queer, but I'm not that fucking gay. <laughs> Just gargling cum day. God, how impressive. Maybe that's why you're not wanting to talk, is because you've got all this cum in your mouth right now and you don't want it to like leak out. I think that's what's happening. I do think that's what's happening here. It's really impressive. It's really impressive how dedicated you are to keeping that man's cum in your mouth. Do you love your boyfriend? Why aren't you engaged? You're both old. Like, you could die soon. Just of, like, natural causes, eh? Like, you never know, eh? I feel, I feel like you two should, like, show your dedication to each other. I think it's important. I think what you're doing is so important. And I love the exposure, to be honest. I'm like, yes, queen, give me more. Yes. All lights on me, you know? World famous in New Zealand. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving that you're growing my handbags. <laughs> that was another expression of approval. I love it. I love it. Honestly, it, it does take like a profound faggot to, to emote so much with their eyebrows. I think that like, You've really mastered this queer art form of drama. Were you a theatre kid in school? I mean, the tracks would make me Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you like board games? I like board games, I think they're cool. 
Do you have a favorite board game? Okay, so you like board games but don't even have a favorite. That's fair. I mean, like, there are so many good board games out there in the world. There's just so many board games. It must be hard to pick a favorite, especially when you don't know how to think about art or life. Like, yeah. Careful with your mouth hanging open like that, your boys come like rip out. Yeah, now you're closing them, like you're listening to me. I know, I know that what I'm saying is getting through to you. It's sitting in your heart. It's filling you with joy. Oh, you know, because that's why I'm here to talk to you, is like I said, because I care about your well-being. I care so much about your well-being. We do know where we close, we can do a hell of yeah, yeah, we could we could do well-being checks on you. Would you like that? If we just stood outside your house filming every day, that'd be so fun. It would be, wouldn't it? But we've actually got better things to do with our time. Is the problem? <laughs> we've got our own lives to live. So I uh, hope everyone's enjoying that. Um, this is the sort of approach that you kind of expect from the Rainbow community. Uh, once again, they're not awfully fond of photography. Um, they figure that anyone who's uh, out filming in public uh, should be harassed and so on and so forth. But this guy's actually pretty entertaining, so it's, uh, you know, it's not a particularly... A uh, uh, big deal, and you know, seems friendly enough. Okay, some of the sorts of things that he likes to say are a uh, little bit objectionable, but hey, you know, at the end of the day, he's expressing a point of view and expressing an opinion, and uh, you know, he's perfectly entitled to do that. <laughs> 